This week, you will draw a giraffe portrait. Giraffes live in Africa. They eat leaves. A portrait is a picture of a person's or animal's face. You will need paper, crayons, scissors, and glue. Directions. Look for the kinds of lines and shapes you see in the giraffe. Watch the video for tips on how to draw the giraffe. Cut out the giraffe and glue to the background paper. Color the sky if you don't have blue paper. Draw, cut, and glue leaves around the giraffe. Or you can draw leaves before coloring the sky. Then snap a photo and upload by October 23rd to Mrs. Hughes. Today you'll be working on a giraffe portrait. Giraffes are animals that live in Africa. And a portrait is a picture of a person's or animal's face. Remember when you look at something to draw, you need to look for the kinds of lines and shapes you see. We're going to start at the top of the giraffe where the horns are and draw a curved line. Then you can draw a line out for the top of the horn and curve down a little bit. Same on the other side. This shows a principle of design called balance. You have a horn on the left, you have a horn on the right. Okay. Next, I'm going to draw the two lines of the nose that go down to the nostrils. They come down from that curve. You can use oval shapes for the nostrils. And you want to put an oval inside each oval. A curved line can connect the two ovals at the bottom. Then I'm going to go up to the eyes. Draw a curved line out a little bit from the end of each horn. Draw a circle for each eye. And then I can draw a line from the eye to the nostril to make the rest of the head. For the top of the mouth, I can go to the top of the nostril on the left and on the right, curve out a little bit and then curve around and connect. You'll need to draw the neck Then the giraffe needs ears. I go to the bottom of the horn, draw a curved line out, and come back to the top of where the eye is. And there you have the basic lines and shapes of the giraffe's head. Then, you can go back and add details, like the texture lines for the hair on top of the horns, the patterns of the spots, some curved lines above the eyes, the inside ear, and then you can color in your spots top of the mouth, 
you want to make a background. You can either draw a background with the sky, some clouds, some leaves, because giraffes eat leaves. Or you can do the background on a separate piece of paper and then cut the giraffe out and glue to the background. I hope you have fun drawing your giraffe portrait. I look forward to seeing your giraffe.